A family desperate for answers about this local father whom they haven't seen in more than a month. Leonard Curtindall disappeared right after Thanksgiving and his loved ones never imagined they'd spend Christmas and New Year's without him. The man described as a dedicated father was last seen at Pontiac. That's where our Jamont Terry picks up the story. The family of Leonard Curtindall has searched here in Pontiac. They've also had search crews looking in Detroit. He was last spotted outside this nightclub leaving. That was back in November. Here it is New Year's Eve and they haven't seen him and they're extremely worried because he would not miss all these holidays. <laughs> it's just very difficult. You know, we're used to him just coming by and being there. It's been more than a month ago on November 23rd, Leonard Curtindall left this nightclub on Edison in Pontiac. The 41 year old never made it home. His whereabouts unknown. And it's hard to see my younger sisters and my brother sad or upset about my dad. Curtindall's oldest daughter, Jenea, tells me Christmas was difficult. And now here it is, New Year's Eve, and her father is still missing, leaving the mind to worry. If he's still alive, if he's dead, we don't know. And that's all we want to know is where he is and if he's okay. Over the past four weeks, the family went out searching fields and vacant homes in both Pontiac and Detroit. Those efforts have turned up nothing. Police tell the family they found Curtin Doll's SUV from that night, but there's been no activity on a cell phone or credit card. Leading me to believe it's more to it than what people are talking about and they're not talking. And investigators need tips because with each passing day, it gets harder to believe a father would deliberately desert his family like this. No, the not knowing is the worst part ever. Now the family insisting that this is completely out of character for Curtin Dahl. Now they do plan to do another search effort at vacant homes and buildings throughout Detroit and in Pontiac. Right now, police are only saying that this is a missing persons case, but the family suspects foul play. Reporting live, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Well, we certainly hope that he will return home safe and sound. Jermont, thank you for that story.